When I was 10, my family moved near Kendrick Lakes Elementary School. In fifth grade, I met a girl named Claire Henke. Claire and I connected right away and became best friends. Claire's dad, Daryl, was like a second father to me. He always took us to do fun things. On February 15, 2016, I got a call from Claire saying her dad was in the hospital due to a suicide attempt. He was released from the hospital but went back many times over the course of six months. On the first day of our junior year, Daryl took a lot of pills to commit suicide and his body was shutting down. I went to the hospital right away and Claire explained that Daryl was an alcoholic and was depressed and that was why he tried to take his own life. He spent two weeks in the hospital, hooked up to all these machines that were keeping him alive, slowly becoming less and less of the Daryl we all knew and loved. We basically lived in the third floor waiting room of St. Anthony's Hospital. We stayed every night and all day, even though we were told that they don't encourage camping out. We waited for any news they had about Daryl. The doctors and nurses were not very informative, and we only saw the doctor once a day. Once Daryl passed away, I decided I wanted to go into the medical field. I researched many options and decided that a physician's assistant would be the best for me. A physician's assistant would allow me to be hands-on like a nurse, but still be able to inform the families, which is important since no one informed us about Daryl. I want to be the physician's assistant that Daryl and his family never had. I aspire to be the medical professional that encourages being there for your loved one, even if that means camping out.